Hello, and welcome to the It's in Queens podcast covering events in the borough, the most diverse borough in the world, uh, between March 29th and April 4th in the year 2019. As always, I'm Rob Mackay. This is Chris Donovan, and we have with us a special guest who, believe it or not, is just a random guy from the street. <laughs> Monero Graville. <laughs> uh, he has a name. We, uh, we just saw him out on the street beforehand, and he said he wanted to come in because he loves Queens, right? I do. Random guy in the street. You love Queens? What do you love about Queens? I mean, aside from the fact that it's one of the most diverse neighborhoods in the, the world. In world. the world. Yeah. Um, they also have a lot of good Haitian food. A lot of good oh. Haitian food. All right. What, Can't go what's your favorite that. Haitian restaurant in Queens? My favorite Haitian restaurant in Queens is Good Taste. Where over is on that? Linden Boulevard in the Cambria Heights neighborhood. Good taste. I'm going to hit it up. All right. Very good. Good taste on the Boulevard good, of Linden. Good taste. on. All right. Very good. Um, so a uh, random guy in the street is actually born in Haiti or parents are Haitian? Parents are Haitian. Parents are Haitian. Grew up in St. Albans? Grew up in Jamaica. Grew up in Jamaica. Moved okay. to St. Albans. Moved to St. Albans. All right. Well, we have a really busy week here in Queens of stuff going on. You want to tell them more where we're coming from? We're live from the Museum oh, yeah. of the Moving Image. Right. Very good. One of our favorite It's in Queens uh, yeah. subjects. Well, yeah. Right. Yes. Almost every week we talk about something going on at the Museum of the Moving Image. And today we're actually at the Museum of the Moving Image. Worlds are colliding. Yes. This right. is the, uh, the backyard. I feel it's the culmination uh, of a life's work. That's right. We have a, a networking event, a Queens Economic Development Corporation networking event that's going to start in a couple minutes. So you might see all people coming in and saying, like, where are the chips? Where are the pretzels? Mm -hmm. But we're just going to focus on the events going right. on. This all right. My first question to a random guy in the street. Do you love bricks? Do you love Lego bricks? I mean, I haven't played with them in a while. But when you were young, you dug, you dug them. In elementary school. In elementary <laughs> school? All right. Well, what, what is an annual event at the New York Hall of Science is coming up this weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. It's Brickfest Live. Oh, you know about big, this. It's a big, big Liam Donovan son. event. Yes, yes, yeah. He, has, he loves have, it. Anybody who has a, like an 8-year-old, 9-year-old, 10-year-old kid, yep. Yep. this is just imagine more Lego bricks than you can count, Ever imagine. than you can throw, yep. than you could lift in two weeks. Um, they have all kinds of things. Sculptures. They have collaborative building projects, hands-on activities. A glow gallery. Oh, that's a new one. A wall. Now, yeah. I'm not talking about a wall between uh, uh, Mexico and, and Texas. No. This is a wall that you would create, a huge one. Anyway, that's coming up this week on Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Doe. Mm -hmm. So that's 16 hours of pure Lego bricks. At the New York Hall of Science, uh -huh. right in uh, Corona. Random guy in the street. I From think I'm going to start playing with Legos again. <laughs> there okay. you go. Why don't you go to this? <laughs> I'm def I'll be there. What are you going to make? One of the car, airplane? Uh, I don't think my talents are there yet since okay. I haven't touched them since elementary school, okay. but I think may maybe a box? Yeah. All right. Random guy <laughs> on the street's going to make a box. All right. The other thing, which is not far from where you live or grew up, uh, that's big this week, is the Pagua Parade. Yeah. I pronounce it Fagua because it's P-H, but uh, I think West Indians pronounce it Pagua. It's the annual holy celebration. Holy in the Hindu tradition is kind of like the, the spring. It's when it's, it's the regeneration. Yep. But any of us that live around here know that it's just floats and floats of cars, cranking music, and everyone's throwing colors. Colored, colored talcum powder. You know that one? Water, colored photos, water, like, yeah. colored talcum powder. You get there and you get covered. I, I mean, actually, I went to one a couple of years ago with my cousin who had just got home from the army. No, yeah. just got home from Afghanistan. No kidding. And he was like, a white guy from Long Island. He was like, people were coming up and like, you Smack know, putting, 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 putting talcum all over his face, <laughs> pink colored talcum. And we had a blast. That and sounds it's, like it's, fun it's, though. It is. It's a lot of fun. And it ends, so it goes through Liberty Street and in Liberty Avenue in Richmond Hill. It ends at the Phil Rizzuto Park. Which was famous for here. saying, holy cow. Wow. Which is, which is which sacred comes, in India. Which comes from it. <laughs> The Hindu. Exactly. It's all um, tying it up but, in a uh, bow. At the, at the Phil Rizzuto Park, they have all kinds of chanting, food, singing. People are hitting on music. It's a lot of fun. It is. It's, it's going to be a great time. That is the 31st, all right? So you can go to the Brick Fest on the 30th and then the Pagua Parade on the 31st. We're going to plan your own week. to do on yeah. my Gmail calendar. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. It's actually the 39th annual in Queens. And please remember that Richmond Hill has the largest Guyanese population outside of Guyana. Is that we true? We are the center of Guyanese. Yeah, right. Toronto has some, New Jersey has some, Miami. But we are, but yeah, we are but number Richmond one. Richmond Hill is number one. Uh, I also thought now, this is, might be interesting to you, but I, I put it number three. Uh, the Miracle Mets of 1969. Well, we're 50 years, right? We're 50 yeah. years out we're from 50 the 69 years Mets. Oh, my God, it's been 50 years since that. Yeah. Wow. Um, are you a Mets fan? I don't watch so much baseball. Random guy from the street. <laughs> what do you watch? Basketball, sometimes football. Okay. Cricket? All right. 
Never. No, I hate you. <laughs> you. You like soccer? You don't like soccer? Dominoes. Dominoes. Oh, That's my sport of choice. Oh, okay. Dominoes. All right. Um, well, anyway, 1969, the Mets, who I think were horrible, they opened what, in 62, 63? They, yeah, 62 was the first year. And they were horrible. They were the most losing team in the ever, right? yeah, ever. Casey, Worst team ever. Casey Stengel on the back end didn't he uh, say, his career. Isn't his quote, like, can anyone here play this game? Yes. Isn't that like the thing? Yes. Well, anyway, 1969, a miracle happened. The team turned around, and they won the, uh, the World, World Series. Series yep. Tom, Tom, Tom Seaver. Yep. Um, anyway, Art Shamsky was a center fielder on that team. Mm-hmm. And key, he, key player. You know him? Art Shamsky, yeah. Oh, I'd never heard of him until oh, I saw no this. Kidding. All right. Oh, he yeah. was good, though? Yeah, Cleon Jones, Art Shamsky. Um, oh, okay. Eddie Cranepool. Yeah, they're okay. you know, all the... Well, he was on that team, and he has written a book with a writer named Eric Sherman, and uh, they're announcing the book. They're signing it. They're talking about it. Very cool. Uh, Where's that happening? Uh, that is on March 30th at 2 o'clock. And what I think is also interesting is it, it's at a re- place called Book Culture LIC. Now, Small, book, independently owned bookstore. Right, but their book culture started in Manhattan, and there are uh, there are three big ones in Manhattan, and they just opened up a branch in Long Island City. Oh, there you go. Shows a book a bookstore opening up in Long Island City that shows you how we are. Not only are we uh, a great place to do business, we're also intellectual. Right? That's right. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, now, next thing I wanted to talk about was the platters. Ah, do you know now? Random guy in the street. You're too young to know the platters, right? They were, uh, yeah, never heard of the platters. Uh, have you heard of uh, Run DMC? I have. Okay. <laughs> well, this is like they were prior to Run DMC. This is like 20 years before Run DMC. We had the platters. <laughs> 20 the platters. Yeah, they've oh, been maybe going 30. for 50 years. I was gonna say maybe 30 years before Run DMC. Right? Maybe 30 years. Yeah. Well, apparently they've been going for 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 50 years. Right. And they have 40 top 100 okay. uh, singles as a po- uh, as per Billboard. Yeah, I think um, only you would be the one that comes right to only mind. Only oh. you. Can. <laughs> okay, right. And Leroy. Right, so they're kind of like crooners. They're kind of, you could say they're Motown-ish. Yeah, they're they you know, R&B, yeah. a little so. doo-wop, a little soul. Random you know. guy from the street. Have you heard of Motown? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. he's got that. On what kind of music do you like, by the way? Um, a little bit of everything. My Spotify playlists are all over the place, so okay. everything uh, that sounds good. Speaking of Spotify, uh, you can find the It's and Queens podcast on uh, Spotify. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're now on Spotify. You can watch sure. this on Spotify. Listen to it. Um, do you like Nicki Minaj? <laughs> She's from Queens, you know. I know. I'm okay. He's on the fence about Nicki. What? What about 50 Cent? Do you like him? He's from Queens, too. LL Cool J? Uh, he, have you heard of LL Cool J? Or are we too... <laughs> he's from St. Albans. Ah, he's ah from there St. you go. Albans. Farmer's Boulevard, right? Was where he hung out. Tribe called Quest. Tribe yeah, called yeah. Quest. You they like just that? got a street named after That's them right. in the area. Yeah. Okay. Five times. Um, anyway, the Platters, uh, and they have a special guest who's going to be playing a tribute to Sam Cooke, which means oh. songs such as You Send Me. Sam Cooke is my guy. Send That's me. my man. You know that one? And Twist in the Night Away. Twist in the Night Away. Yeah. Twist in the Night Away. No? Wow. We're so old, man. Look up we Sam Cooke. So You're going to love it. We are so Trust old. me. Anyway, that, that, yeah. is, that is March 31st and in where's Bayside. That? It's, oh, it's, so that's going to be it's, from it's, QPAC it's, yeah. rescheduled over the, to Our Lady the, of Blessed the, Sacrament. The Queensboro Performing Arts Center is presenting it, but because they're under renovation, it's going to be at Our Lady of Blessed Sacrament. Nice. GM. Okay. Uh, I wanted to tell you about uh, a bubble circus. Yeah. A bubble circus. Yep. Uh, the, the, the performer whose name is B is from Latvia. Okay. So it's a La- Latvian bubble circus inspired by Cirque du Soleil. I love it. So laser technology, snow cannons, optical illusions, and surprises. I like it. Well, that sounds good. Do you like uh, circuses? Or? I mean, I've never been to one. No. I missed out the sh- You missed my- out the Ringling Brothers. They're out of business now. Because uh, of the, the last one was at Roy Wilkins, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can catch oh, you can catch a universal so, universal, you can catch universal soul circus yeah, at Roy they're Wilkins. Out, they're in Roy Wilkins Park, not far from where you live yeah. Yeah. or grew up. And Big Apple Circus still comes to Cunningham Park, right? Yeah, they yeah. they do in the summer. They yeah. do. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, there are literally twelve different kinds of live music events in the borough this week. Look at us. So I can't write. You just go to our website and check it out. But one of them that I thought was kind of cool is that the Queen Symphony Orchestra will be playing at Flushing Town Hall. Nice. Romantic classical music, and it's free if you RSVP. How many pieces in that orchestra? Do you remember? Uh, a lot. Yeah, it's they a big, tons. big orchestra. It's a big thing with a... They're going to fill that whole stage, is my yeah. point, right? Yeah, yeah. they're going to fill that whole stage. There's also the Queens Jazz Overground. There's a full-day jazz festival also at the Queens, um, at the Flushing Town Hall. Flushing Just Town hours hall. and hours and hours of workshops and concerts. Workshops and concerts. Right? Jazz ensembles from all around the borough. Middle school, high school, 
ensembles playing jazz. If you like jazz, it's a full day to get your uh, nice to get your your jazz on. Did you make it out to Flushing Town Hall for the for the Balkan swing thing? I did not. All right, sorry. Did sorry. you? I did not. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I also, wouldn't shame you. <laughs> I was there. Where were you? <laughs> uh, we also have. Um, the Footsteps for Progress. Now, the Queen Center for Progress, which is one of our favorite nonprofits. That's right. It's We've located, had Jennifer on the It's, it's located in Jamaica, Parsons Boulevard, 164th Street, and they provide services to people with developmental disabilities. If you ever go into that place, you will cry because there are people with all kinds of disabilities, and the people that work there, the teachers and others, are, are just so dedicated, yeah. so patient, so nurturing. It's a fabulous place. Anyway, they're holding a fun run through St. John's campus. So oh, you run nice. two loops through St. John's campus. Right. Only uh, only 5K, I believe. Um, and the whole thing raises money for the Queen Center for Progress. That's a great cause. That's Saturday. The only thing is that the start is at 9 o'clock in the morning. you got to get up early on Saturday. I'm up at 7. You're up at 7? Yeah. To turn around and go back to sleep? I go. I, I, my son wakes up. I go, go put TV on. I'll be up in an hour. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, two other things I wanted to say. There's a great lecture uh, by a local borough historian uh, who lives out in Whitestone. Um, his name is Jason Antos. He's written six books on Queens. He's giving a lecture about the film industry in Queens because right where we are right here, this is where film the first started. films were. Did you know this, this is, is the original Paramount Hollywood. Pictures? Before they went to Hollywood, they all filmed everything right here. The silent movies from a long time ago were all filmed right here. Marx Brothers, Rudolph Valentino. This is history right here. Anyway, there's a guy who will be speaking about it. Yeah. Um, and Fort Totten. Anyone know? Do you know about Fort Totten in Bayside? So there was a, a fort that they built for the Civil War. Yeah. And it's still there. It's still there, functioning. Um, yep. And there's a tour of it this weekend. You can go and you can check out everything where they used to hide the ammunition and all that kind of stuff. Keep uh, be on the lookout for a nice uh, fireworks display there this year. Yep. Yep. And the other thing I wanted to say that along the lines of Holy, it's like the Pag Pagua Parade. But the uh, what is what people call the Ganesh Temple or the Bounty Street Temple, which is really the the Hindu the it's called the Hindu Temple Society of North America. The oldest Hindu temple in the United States is in Queens. They hold a special ho holy celebration at the Queens Museum on Sunday, and it involves all kinds of dances and, and songs and stuff, Indian music, Indian holiday. Um, Good and, food too, right? Is that the place yeah, that has the great food? food? Yeah, fantastic food. Um, uh, so we're going fast now That's because no, we can't, no if, we, if I go through this, we're going yeah. another. Um, anything I'm missing, though? Before no, you, you got everything. We got uh, uh, It's in Queens, the website, www.itsinqueens.com. Yeah. <laughs> Check that out. And, of course, uh, the Queens Taste coming up May 7th. And, and if we miss everything, please go to itsinqueens.com. Follow up. You just said that. Yeah. Hashtag itsinqueens.com. Not that I have a listening problem. <laughs> um, ran, random guy from the street, what are you going to do this weekend? Which Lego Fest, it sounds like. Celebrate my sister's birthday. Celebrate oh, you your go. sister's birthday in Queens? In Long Island. In, oh, my gosh. I don't know about, I don't know this, about guy. this guy. I don't know about this guy. <laughs> but right. I'm happy to so be we got, we got the favorite. <laughs> we got the favorite Haitian restaurant. What Do you have a favorite restaurant in general? Besides non-Haitian, non -Haitian. what's your favorite restaurant uh, in Queens? You can't to. put me on the spot right now, but I owe you guys an answer. <laughs> All right. Come back. Best Go pizza. Best pizza. Oh, Gabby's. In, in Jusa. Right? Which Gabby's one? on Hillside? Gabby's on Gabby's Hillside. On Hillside. What I don't about know the it. one in um, right off uh, Jamaica Avenue? Oh, that one too. Yeah. Um, on Springfield in Jamaica? Oh, that's good. Yeah. I forgot. John's? Uh, Big John's? Big John's? Okay. Big John's. All right. Anyway, um, thank you thank for being you guys, on. Thank no you guys for, for following us. Please check us out at It's in Queens. And thank you to Random Guy on the Street <laughs> for giving us 15 minutes of his life. You can never get those 15 minutes back. I hope you feel that they were well spent. I mean, they were well spent talking about Queens, the most diverse, <laughs> active, and apparently historical borough in the world. Right. And, of course, the home of some great Haitian uh, food at Good Vibes. Good Taste. Good, good taste. taste. All right. I really do have a listening problem. All right. Thank you, guys. See you in the borough this weekend.